Welcome to Christ Revival Evangelistic Ministries, also known as Sanctuary Praise Church. Here is a message that will establish the truth of God in your life by Evangelist Victor Ajishefe. I want to remind us that the door of grace is still open. But it will be closed very soon, any moment from now. I always say to us and remind us all the time, anytime we come together, we use the opportunity to remind ourselves that this is the end of the age. I want us to know that. Friends, the door of grace can close anytime. John chapter 14, the 14th chapter of the book of John. John chapter 14 from verse 1, verses 1 to 4 is where I want to read. John 14, 1 to 4. Yes, Pastor. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Ye believe in God. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I always tell people that you can't believe a thing without becoming it. If you claim to believe a thing and you don't be, become it, you don't believe that thing. Or you are a hypocrite. When you believe a thing, you become it. When someone says, I believe in God, you must become godly. If you believe in God and you are not godly, it's either you have been deceived or you are deceiving yourself. That is why when your life does not show that you believe God, you cannot make it with God. The event that is about to take place is the trumpet. The trumpet is going to sound. Jesus Christ is coming back to take away the church. It's going to happen very soon. Any moment from now. Because all the signs that were given in scripture about his coming has been fulfilled. It will surprise you that people are taking the mark of the beast right now, 666. You're going to see it on YouTube that people did the, the mark of the beast that was prophesied, spoken about in the book of Revelation. But right now, the mark of the beast, 666, is voluntary. After the rapture has taken place and the Antichrist has been re revealed, the Antichrist is Satan incarnate. Satan incarnate. If you are sleeping, I am begging you, wake up. So that you won't regret it. Because if the rapture takes place and you are left behind, do you know what will be your greatest pain? Now the first say you know but how. How you did not go. Why? Because of secret sin. Because of sins that we refuse to deal with in our lives. Because we are so familiar with taking God for granted. When everything is written in the Bible and you see scriptures being fulfilled, you see prophecies unfolding before us as never before. The trumpet shall sound. The trumpet shall sound. The time is finished. We are living on a borrowed time. Borrowed grace. Why? Because Jesus still wants some of us that are here to be saved. That those who have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Don't perish with the word. If rapture left you be end, you will regret it. What is going to pay you more than persecution and tribulation? It is the regret. That you could have escaped this. You won't find hellfire funny. Do you know why? You were warned. It is written in the Bible. Jesus preached more about hell than any other thing in the Bible. So that you and I. We know that godliness. Is what we pay. Living a holy life. Is what we pay. Hypocrisy in the name of religion. Will not pay you. It will disgrace you at the end of the day. Friends, this is what we are up and against. 
Our generation is the generation that will be raptured. Just like the day of Noah. God is doing it all over again. You are hearing it this morning. That judgment is coming. All the handwritings are everywhere. That is why you must be prepared to make it. Don't be a hypocrite Christian. If you are not living a holy life, you won't go anywhere. No fornicator, no adulterer, no liar, no thief, no effeminate, no lesbian, no gay. Shall made it. Jesus is coming for a church without blemish, a church without wrinkle. He said, be ye holy, because I am holy. If you know these things, then you have to live holy life. Glory be to God. Start reading the man of God from verse 1. Read that verse 1 to 4. Let not your heart be troubled. Yes. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Uh -huh. In my father's house are many mansions. There are many mansions. Oh, glory be to God. Don't let your mansion be empty. Don't let it be given to somebody else. Whatever we have, whatever we are in this world are all vanity. There is nothing of value in this world in us except our soul. That's why Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if you go into your world and lose your soul? What will you give in exchange of your soul? Yes. If it were not so, yes, I would have told you. Uh -huh. I go to prepare a place I for you. I am going to prepare a place for you. What is going to happen to the place Jesus has prepared for you? The day you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, your name is written on a mansion in heaven. But as soon as you begin to live in sin, because you were saved to live in righteousness, you were saved to become like Jesus. If you claim to be saved and you choose to continue a lifestyle of evil, of sin, what is going to happen? You lose your mansion because you won't have to go to heaven. Rapture takes place, you won't go. You have to stay here with all the truth that you know, hearing to a message, listening to a message like this, knowing what you know, and rapture will now, will, now, will now take place and you are left behind. That is the pain. That's why people will run to the mountain and say, Mountain, follow me and kill me. And mountain will refuse to kill you. So people will enter into the ferry and get to the middle of the water and you jump inside the sea. And the ocean waves will bring you to the shore and can't leave you life one. The water will not be interested in killing you. If this is what you are waiting for, you think it's a joke. Wait until you see it. The Bible says, let him that have ears hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Go on, pastor. And if I go and prepare a place for you, when I prepare a place, I prepare a place for you, yes? I will come again. Jesus said, I will co I'm coming back. I will come back. I will come back. And when you read Matthew 24, he gave all the signs. He said, when you see all these signs, know that my coming is at hand. All of those signs have taken place. And some are still taking place. Jesus said, I am coming back. And those who belong to me, I will take them to myself. So that where I am, they shall be also. Can I hear your amen? amen. Stop sinning. There is nothing like sinning Christian. Is that like you are a Christian or you are a sinner? A Christian had stopped sinning. And a sinning person is not a Christian. The Bible said, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And you use your body to do anything. Let him that is evil continue to be evil. Let him that is good continue to be good. Say, I am coming quickly. And my reward is with me. It will catch up. The sin of sinners will catch up with them. Continue. Keep provoking Jesus. Ridicule him. As you want. The time is coming. Let's think about that. May the Lord help us in Jesus name. Be prepared. That's the title of my message today. Be prepared. The time is up. Time is up. Luke chapter 13. Start reading from verse 23, please. Then said one unto him, uh -huh. Lord, uh -huh. 
Are there few that be saved? Somebody asked Jesus one day, say, Lord, now few no more go save. My prayer for every one of us in this church today, may you be one of the few that will be saved. Yeah. Brother and sister, we can't afford for Mr. First Flight. We can't afford it. What's in the bear now is eternal regret. We not, we, we not get solution. Because the only flight that is available after the first flight is the flight of you paying for your soul with your own blood. In other words, when you refuse to take the mark of the beast, it will capture you and torture you gradually to force you to take the mark of the beast. If you able to be here now, if you able to be at the torture, till you die, you will go to heaven. That's the second flight. Those are the people who, who will use their own blood to pay for their own sins. Why will you wait for that? Not forget, say, now wrong mouth. You know, now you mouth, you're not able for, for control right now. Now you go wait, then take them and pluck one you eye, then give you arm, then give you, then give you arm for, for it. Whether you then cut one you toe, then left you first. For let you they decide if you want the mark or not. Eh? Eh? The camera they use plier for pull your teeth. They say they go think about time you want the mark or not. You is that what you are waiting? Is that the option you are waiting for? You go able. What are you waiting for? If the trumpet should blow. Today, the trumpet sound. Will you go? They asked Jesus. Now, few go save. Go. Let me hear the answer. And he said unto them. And Jesus answered. Look at it. Yes. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. Do your best. For let the first flight go with you. Do your best to enter through the narrow gate. Yes. For many, I say unto you, a lot of people, yes, will seek to enter in. They will seek to enter in. And shall not be able. They will not be able. Go on. When once the master of the house is risen up. When Jesus came, yes. And had shut to the door. The door will be closed. Today the year am. Now me and you <laughs> get chance. Now you can repent. You can change. Anybody can change. Any mortal man can change. Now you get the chance for change. The time is coming. Any moment from now, when the door, that door will close. You will say, I don't ready. They say, don't late. I don't know the gate again. You say, you don't late. Me say, no, now say, lie not good. Now lie, make a left And they say, well, where you not know now is fine, but it's late. I know the tip again. I know the tip again. It is late. You can as well carry on and, and begin for still. The door will close. Go on, Pastor. And ye begin to stand without. Some will be outside, yes? And knock at the door. They'll be knocking at the door. Saying, Saying, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Open unto us. Uh huh. And he shall answer and say unto you, Uh huh. I know you not whence ye are. You. Be prepared. I want you to say with me with your own mouth because this might just be the prayer you will pray that will give you your boarding pass. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I surrender at the feet of the cross. I laid down the burden of my sin. And I take up the burden of Christ. I take up the yoke of Christ. I reject the yoke of the world. I reject the yoke of Satan. I reject the yoke of demons. Right now, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I take the yoke of Christ upon myself today i receive 
the mark of Christ upon my soul. I reject the mark of the beast. I will not receive the mark of the beast in the name of Jesus. Because today, as I come before the altar, I receive the mark of Christ in the name of Jesus. My soul has escaped. My soul has escaped. My soul has escaped forever. I hand all of you over to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, look after them. Nurture them. Take care of them. Keep these souls. Keep these souls. Save them from the evil one. Let them be sensitive. Let them reject the flesh. Let them defeat temptation. Let the blood of Jesus flow over your soul right now for deliverance. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are saved. You receive your body pass for option. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks for listening. And I believe you've been transformed remarkably. For more information, you can call on these numbers 078-593-977 or 078-595-977 or visit us at the Sanctuary Grace Church, Solid Life of King Hammond Road, Brookfields, Freetown, Sierra Leone. Thank you and God bless you.